welcome to my channel crochet skills in today's video i will show you how to crochet a beautiful cardigan uh, so i am making this cardigan for uh, uh, six months old but i am making it uh, for a bit fat uh, baby okay so make a slip knot in chain 86 but uh, it's not necessary that you make only chain 86 for six months old you will check the measurement of your kid and um, you we need to check the waist because we are working it from the uh, we are starting from the uh, skirt so you need to just measure waist and then you will uh, make chains uh, of your own choice because i am making chain 86 for my size and it will be enough for me but you need to go back and check your measurement of your kid and then you need to make these chains and you will not stress these stitches you will just make loose Mm, size for this so i will make chain 86 and then i will make chain 3 and work one mm, uh, double crochet into every stitch i have worked chain 86 and then i work chain 3 into fourth stitch from the hook i have started just working into all these stitches and uh, i have now 86 double crochets now i will join it i didn't join it in the chain round why because i can increase number of chains here if it's not um, according to my size but if i work in rounds i cannot uh, if i join this round i make double crochet row and then i measure it but it's not accurate according to my size then it will be difficult for me to change it i need to just remove all these stitches and then i need to just continue from the beginning but if we work like this and just imagine that it's uh, i need some more uh, chains so what i will do i'll just attach yarn here and then i will make more uh, double crochets here then i will join it and make double crochets here and then it's not my efforts are not wasted so i have um, made i have worked all these double crochets and then i've um, measured it it's perfectly all right for me because i am making it for six months but it will be fit till one year old baby because i'm making it a little bigger one so now how to how we'll join this just make sure that stitches are not twisted or tangled my strip is in okay so make first stitch into this chain three chain one leave it so now we had to join this part so go into the last stitch insert the hook here also and into with this tail we need to just attach it chain one and okay so this is how now it's like a loop so now we will work four rows of the ribbing how to make this chain two just to create the height yarn over going to the same stitch there's one more way to make this you will make chain one go into this first stitch work a front post single crochet chain two it's like a front post double crochet now go into the next stitch work a front back post double crochet go into the next stitch work a front post double crochet go into the next and work a back post double crochet so we'll just complete this round and then we will work in front post double crochets front post into back post double crochets we will work one back post so we will work for uh, total four um, rounds including this this is the first one this is the second one and two more i will work and then we will start working on the skirt okay so my ribbing is completed because my, i'm making it for a, a smaller size for six months so if this is enough if you want to make it for bigger ones so you need to make the increase the number of rows so we will make chain two skip two stitches so i skip one stitch go into the second work six double crochets one two three four five six then make chain one 
skip two stitches go into the next work a single crochet chain one skip one work six double crochets one two three four five six chain one skip two single crochet chain one skip one and work six double crochets so we will work in this all the way around and make a slip stitch here okay so this row is completed now we'll make chain two to begin the next row and turn we'll make this second row from opposite sides every time every second row you will need to work up from opposite side so just make chain two go into this first stitch work a front post you can do it also that you can directly do a front post double yarn over go into the first stitch work a front post double crochet yarn over go into the next stitch work a front post double crochet yarn over go into the next stitch work a front post double crochet then make chain two go into the last three stitches of the shell and work one front post double crochet every stitch one two and three then without my making any changes shift into the next shell work a front post double crochet work one front post double crochet in the next work one front post double crochet in the next chain two go into the next three stitches work one two and three front post double crochets shift into the next stitch and do the same thing this is how it's looking from uh, front side and in the next time we will make shells here in this chain two stitch and work a single crochet here so we'll work these two alternating rounds till you have got your uh, uh, measurement that is uh, you need it so i will just make it till and then i will show you how to do the next one okay so i'm done with all this uh, piece i've uh, told you that after making these two uh, design rows i've separated it the front 43 stitches skip six from this side and six from this side then i've turned it back i worked this separately in this piece and then i worked the last i have worked one two three four and five total rows after this skirt and here are my four rows of these only front post uh, double crochets i worked all these front post double crochets then i worked back i worked seven skipped six stitches from this side six stitches from this side work seven uh, front post double crochets 23 double crochets and seven front post double crochets i have worked uh, sorry 13 rows of these double crochets and plus four uh, rows of front post double crochets one into every stitch then i have worked this strap and attach two buttons here so now i will show you how to make the strap okay so i have attached my yarn here with a slip uh, with a slip stitch and i have just counted it back that these uh, all these stitches needs to be seven one two three four five six and seven so i will work one front post double crochet one front post double crochet in the next one and this is the second one two three four five six and and seven okay so now i will chain two just for turn and i will turn to make the second row and i will just go back and work a back post double crochet you need to keep it in mind that from the front side you need to work front post and from the back side you need to make the back post stitches so this is the first one so I will work back post double crochet first one is a little difficult okay yarn over insert the hook into the 
back post of the stitch work a back post double crochet yarn over one back post double crochet into the next stitch I need to make seven uh, back post double crochets so why I am working it this row with back post double crochet it's just because okay so my row is ended chain two and turn work one front work because as you can see that this is the back post double crochet but when we uh, turn it we need it all these stitches front post from the uh, right side it should be front post so I will just yarn over again yarn over go into this first stitch work a front post double crochet so I will work 15 rows of one uh, front post double crochet into every stitch one time one front post from the back side it should be back post so it only means that we need to uh, make all these front post upside and the back post may uh, must be on the wrong side so I will make 15 rows of these uh, front post from right side okay so my 15 rows are completed now so my 15 rows are completed now we'll just decrease it a bit and make a button hole okay chain 2 and turn go into this first stitch pull up a loop pull it through two loops you have two loops on the hook yarn over go into the next stitch pull it through pull it through two loops pull it through all the loops together in the next one work one double crochet then make chain two skip this one stitch work one double crochet then work one decrease we will work in back post double crochets in this row okay row is completed make chain two and turn go into this first stitch work a front post leave two loops on the hook go into the next work this decrease work one double crochet here in this stitch then work a decreasing front post double crochet yarn over go into the stitch pull it through two pull it through all the loops together so I will just cut the yarn I will leave the ends of every piece at the end so the strap and the button hole is ready I have already tucked a button here so we will just I will just try it done just try to manage it once you will just okay so it's all done now I'll just weave this end and my cardigan is completed this is our look I will just uh, finish it and then I will show you okay so it's all done and perfectly completed I hope you have liked it please don't forget to subscribe like and share for any query you can ask me in comments thank you for watching thank you so much